Praise the Lord, Faith Community Church. Welcome to Family Night, which is our Wednesday night midweek prayer of agreement. Uh, Pastor Sam and I are here, and I will begin prayer tonight, and Pastor Sam will conclude with prayer for our families. Uh, so, Father, we thank you for this fifth Wednesday of November 2023. And, uh, Father, we're grateful and thankful for all that you've done for us uh, throughout this year. Thank you for a great Thanksgiving holiday. And uh, Father, we just thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die on our behalf. Uh, we acknowledge the finished work of Christ in our lives, and we honor him as our high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Uh, Father, we thank you that we are right, that we are righteous in Christ, and we receive our righteousness tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for our state of being as a church family. We declare that we're healed, that we're delivered, that we're set free from the powers of darkness, Father. And we've been transferred into the kingdom of your son. And uh, Father, we thank you that we're redeemed from every curse in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for our covenant. We receive our covenant. Thank you that we've been reconciled. We've been reconciled to the Father, Father, and Lord, we thank you that all of our benefits are, uh, are available and belong to us right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we pray tonight for this holiday season. And uh, Father, those who might be grieving uh, the loss of a family member during this holiday time. And uh, Father, we, hallelujah, we just bind up the spirit of sadness, uh, any spirit of grief, from over your people in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we release, we loose the spirit of joy into your people, over your people right now in Jesus' name. We speak joy to the people of God as we close out this year and this holiday season in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for this city called Memphis. And uh, Father, we speak your blessings over Memphis and we declare your blessings in favor over all of our online family members all over this country in Jesus name. Father, we thank you that we're blessed. We're blessed and highly favored. And thank you that your blessing and your favor overtakes and overwhelms your people during this season in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now, Father, I pray right now for those who are in need of breakthrough, uh, for those who are facing personal challenges in their lives. Uh, Father, we lift up Marvis to you. And I th we just thank you, Father, that the right situation, the right job, the right employment opportunity comes to him without any further delay or hindrance. We place a demand on it. We put prayer pressure on it. And uh, Father, we add our faith together and we thank you that his door, his effectual door is opened unto him in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for all of our people that might be dealing with personal challenges. And Father, that's what your grace is here for. And we just speak grace to Faith Community Church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We receive your grace. Hallelujah. Your grace that restores, your grace that heals. Hallelujah. Your grace that repairs in Jesus name. Father, thank you for your grace. And we speak grace to your people right now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we pray right now for all of our seniors. Father, we lift them up to you and we thank you that our seniors are blessed. They mean so much to us. Father, they carried us for a very long time and now we're under honor to carry them. Uh, so, Father, we lift up our singers to you. We lift up Mother Jones and Mother Bobby, Father. We Miss Bobby Piggies, Miss Ann, my mother. Father, we lift up all of our mothers that are connected to FCC. And uh, Father, we pray your blessings over you, over them. Thank you for strengthening them, keeping them, and replenishing them for all of the seeds they've sown in Jesus' name. Father, I pray spe a special prayer for Mother Rogers. Thank you, Father, that she's relieved of chronic pain in Jesus' name. She's relieved of arthritic pain in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your healing virtue right now. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters that have been scattered all over this earth. We lift up Haiti to you, the Sudan. Father, we lift up South Africa, South America, Latin America. We pray for our brothers and sisters, Father, and we speak grace to them. Father, we speak peace to them. Thank you for sparing lives. Thank you for providing for them. Thank you, Lord, for covering your people just like you did for us here in these United States. Hallelujah. We pray that Jesus Christ would be exalted over your people all over this earth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your wonderful name. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters that are unfairly and unjustly incarcerated. We know that the system has uh, been unfair in cases, Father. So we lift up all of those who have been unfairly and unjustly held behind bars, and we pray for their release in the name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare Psalms 91 over your people right now. Everybody connected to FCC, we declare that we are redeemed from evil. Father, thank you for your angels that are watching over us, keeping us and our property in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you again for preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased asset, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that we didn't have to fight all because of the blessing and favor of God that's on our lives in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise your wonderful name. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we thank you for Pastor Samantha Kuros as she prays for our families in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Father. Hallelujah. We lift you up on tonight. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you humbly with our hearts open, with so much gratitude, thanking you for your goodness, thanking you for your grace, your mercy. You just are so good. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Father God, we pray for all of the married men in the body of Christ. We decree that they are mighty men of valor and a godly example to their families. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that each husband rules well his own house and provides godly leadership and financial stability for his family. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that every husband loves his wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. We thank you that each one nourishes her with the word and cherishes her, pleases her, and honors her and his prayers reach the throne of God without hindrance. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that all husbands and wives are fruitful. They multiply, they replenish the earth, and they subdue it. Thank you, Jesus. They all have a covenant marriage and successfully overcome every obstacle in life together by faith in the word of God. In Jesus' name. Father God, we pray for all of the married women in the body of Christ. We thank you that each one is a virtuous woman and a crown to her husband. We thank you that she is his glory and does things to please her husband. Hallelujah. We thank you that each wife submits to her husband as unto the Lord and is subject unto him in everything. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that her conversation and lifestyle reflect reverence for him and her chaste conversation draws him closer to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that every woman possesses a meek and quiet spirit, is a blessing to her husband, and is in the sight of God a great price. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray for all of the single men and women in the body of Christ. We pray that they would care for the things of the Lord, how they may please the Lord, being holy both in body and in spirit, they, that they would attend unto you, Lord, and serve you daily without distraction, having put off the old man and his lust. Hallelujah. I decree that the world's values have no control or influence over their desires or lifestyle. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that they have put on the new man and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Thank you that they walk in the light and keep fellowship with the saints of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray for the children and grandchildren their spouses and families and future spouses of the saints of God. Hallelujah. 
We thank you that they all grow strong in spirit, are filled with wisdom, and the grace of God is upon them. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that they are taught of the Lord, and great is their peace. Hallelujah. We thank you that they're a godly seed and are mighty upon the earth, trained up in the way that they should go, the generation of the upright that are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that an excellent spirit is in them, in whom no blemish, but they are well-favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding and have risen to the top as the greatest leaders on the face of the earth. Hallelujah. The blessing of Abraham brings them abundant prosperity and they and they enjoy perfect health by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray that they'll know God's purpose for their lives and walk out God's plan for them daily in total victory and success. Hallelujah. Keep them from ungodly alliances, God, and allow in all manner of deception. And I pray for their hearts will always be yielded to your voice and your leading. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray for all of the single parents in the body of Christ, and we pray that your grace will cover them and enable them to manage their households well, send labors to help them raise their children to fear the Lord, honor their parents, follow Christ, and be successful in life. Thank you, Jesus. May their sons become godly men and their daughters become virtuous women. Supply every financial need, Lord. Cause the absent parents to fulfill their legal and moral responsibilities to the family. For those single parents who desire to marry, bring them a saved, spirit-filled, godly spouse that will love their children as their very own. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we pray for the saints whose spouses do not yet believe or who are backsliders. You promise salvation for their entire household, and we hold you to that promise. We pray for peace and understanding as the believer seeks to serve you, Lord, and live a sanctified life. Thank you, Jesus. We command that the blinders be removed from the spouse's mind, and we pray that the light of the gospel will reveal Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior to them. Lord, we pray that like the prodigal son, they will come to themselves, forsake worldly, ungodly living, and come home to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, let the believer's life and conversation be a positive witness of your redemptive love and forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. Send laborers across the path of the spouse to win them through your loving kindness and grace. Angels, go forth and reap them into the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Father God, we pray for every family of saints having unsaved family members in the household that is experiencing turmoil, violence, infidelity, and any manner of demonic attack. Satan, we bind you. And every spirit assigned to curse that household, release them now in Jesus' name. Father, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. We speak peace be still to every situation. Strengthen and encourage the believer to stay in your word, for they are sanctifying the household, and you will not let them be ashamed. Hallelujah. We believe you for the salvation of every household member. We send angels to rescue every lost family member out of every compromising situation. Send laborers to get the gospel to them so that they may believe, get saved, and filled with the Holy Spirit and live for you forever. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Lord, we lift up the relatives of saints who are in bondage to drugs, alcohol, gang participation, homosexuality, gambling, riotous living, and who are incarcerated. Lord, you said where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. Let them know that they are not beyond your saving grace. For Jesus died for every one of them, paid their penalty, and you remember their sins no more. Send laborers to share your love and good news that the light of the glorious gospel will give spiritual sight to the blinded minds. Hallelujah. Help them to awake to righteousness, get saved, spirit-filled, and discipled, and keep them from evil. Hallelujah. Satan, get your hands off God's property. They belong to God and you cannot have them. We release them from all controlling spirits. Angels, help them now. Hallelujah. Set them free. Lord, help them not to overcome, not to be overcome with evil ever again, but to overcome evil with good. Hallelujah. Father God, we now pray for every black man and youth in this nation. We cancel every strategy and operation designated to destroy his manhood, his success, his family life, his self-esteem, 
his reputation, his financial, intellectual, and social advancement, his business success, his prosperity, achievements, and his legacy, every other business area targeted to keep him oppressed, controlled, dishonored, dominated, and beneath his potential. Satan, you are bound, and you have no authority to enslave him. The Son has made him free, and he is free indeed. Get out of his affairs in Jesus' name. Angels, go. Bring him everything that was given to him before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Father, cause our black men and youth to be transformed by the renewing of their minds, that they may all be saved and spirit-filled. See their status in Christ and never again settle for anything less than their inheritance provides. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen.